Christmas has come early for the Gingy Beard Man, and in this box I've got some handlebars from TC Bros for my Harley. So let's open up the box and I'll show you what bars I bought. Got all this wrapping sent away more than the bars. How cool is that? TC Bros has wrapped these bars up really well so they don't get scratched whilst they're being shipped. The first thing I want to do is detach the wires from the bars. They've got these little plastic clips securing the wires to the bars so these have to come out. And they come out really easy if you get to the base of the clip and squeeze it in with some pliers. So now the wires are hanging loose off my bars. What I can do now is just disconnect my hand controls. For the hand controls, you wanna use a T25 torque socket. And for the clutch perch, you wanna use a T27 torque socket. Just gonna start off by twisting the grip to break the glue that's securing it on there. Just getting a towel so I can get more grip on the grip. Get a grip. All right, and as you can see, there's that glue residue which I had to crack. That's why I was twisting it. Now to repeat the process on the other side. Hey, how groovy are these? Looks like a handlebar mustache. Get it? Handlebar? Because, you know. There we go. Just gonna remove the clamp to the brake reservoir. Now to remove these handlebar risers using a three quarter of an inch wrench. Just gonna hold the wrench on there now and loosen her off. So with the new bars, I'll be using the stock mounting bolts. And as you can see there, the stock mounting bolts have red Loctite on there. So I'll be reapplying some red Loctite to these threads. That's tight. That's very tight. All right, now it's time to fit the hand controls. I'm just gonna put my grip here to see how far the control needs to come and it can probably go down a little more. I just wanna snug them up because I still wanna sit on the bike and then adjust them correctly. This stage is just to get them in place. So now what I have to do is tidy up the wiring to my hand controls. And with these Sportster Harleys, they run the wiring externally to the handlebars, whereas with a lot of new model Harleys, they have the wiring running on the inside of the bars. These handlebars don't have those cutouts where you can run the wiring internally, so I'm gonna zip tie my wiring to my brake line here and also to my clutch line. And I'm gonna be using the world's smallest zip ties, so they're not as noticeable. Now to cut off the tails. So because these bars curl around and are so narrow, you can't see these underperch indicators when you're standing at a 45 degree angle front on from the bike. So I'm gonna have to relocate my indicators and I'm gonna go with some fork mount indicators from Joker Machine. And then I'm gonna have to look at getting some other mirrors because the stock mirrors won't work with these bars. And also those bar mount mirrors which I had on my previous bars won't work with these because they're so narrow. And if I mounted those bar clamp mirrors here and here, they're just gonna point directly into my torso. So I will be selling those bar clamp mirrors and I'm gonna have to get some other ones which mount on my triple trees. So now all that's sorted, let's hop on the bike and tighten down these hand controls. So I'm just gonna apply my grip and I'm gonna put some trusty old super glue in there because it slots on way too easy. All right, that's nice and tight. One thing I do want to check is that when I turn my bars, the accelerator cables don't hit the tank. And as you can see, there's about a 10 mil gap 
between the cables and the tank. So they're not going to rub on my tank. So that's good. And that is how easy it is to install the TC Bros Rabbit Ears on your Sportster. Now what I'm going to do is just show you a quick comparison of these bars compared to the stock bars. I gotta say I absolutely love the look of these rabbit ears on my Sportster. Really builds on that old school chopper style which I'm going for. But let me know in the comments what you think. I'm sure I'm gonna cop an absolute pizzling from people out there saying wild you run bars that are so narrow, that's definitely gonna affect your handling. And to be honest, it probably will. I guess the only thing that I could really see as a benefit with running these bars is that they're gonna be great for lane splitting. Shit. So in the next video what I'll be doing is testing out these bars and giving you an honest opinion on what it's like to ride with them. But that's going to do it for this one guys. Thanks very much for watching and as always I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.